NBA 2K24 is finally here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys the best guard build in NBA 2K24. Now, I've been in this builder for the past three hours studying every part of this builder. So before we make this build, I need everybody to drop a like right now and click that subscribe button with notifications turned on so you don't miss another NBA 2K24 video. Now this year, before you create your build, you guys will see an NBA template and create your own build. Do not press NBA template because we are not making an NBA player today. We are creating our own own demigod build now just like any other 2k you're gonna fill out your first and last name and now we're gonna go on to the handedness are you left or right handed actually let me know in the comments down below what handedness you go with i'm always left handed on 2k but in real life i'm right handed let me know if anybody else is like that now for the jersey number it does not matter now let's continue on to make this build now like i've said i've been in this builder for the past three hours and i've been looking at every single position in the game and the position that we are going with is not a shooting guard not a small forward but we're going with the point guard build and like i've said i've been in this builder for the past three hours and i've looked at every single height and the height that we're going with is a six foot six point guard build now, a lot of people are contemplating whether going six foot seven six foot eight now, i'm going to explain later on in the video why six foot six is better than six foot seven and six foot eight you guys know how much builds cost nowadays you guys don't want to be wasting your money so just pay attention very closely and don't skip throughout this video otherwise you will mess up your build now the weight of your six foot six point guard you're going to want to go down all the way okay but once you go down to 180 that is the minimum weight requirement you're gonna want to go up plus one okay just trust me you want to be 181 now for the wingspan of this build now you guys know a lot of people go minimum wingspan to get the highest three-point rating or some people go max wingspan to get the best defensive stats we're not gonna do either of those you'll end up with a seven feet one inch wingspan this is the wingspan that you want make sure you're a six foot six 181 pound point guard with a seven foot one inch wingspan and now it is time to continue now it is time to set our potential to a 99 overall but listen very carefully and watch very carefully today's video is brought to you by underdog fantasy the best place to participate in fantasy sports underdog fantasy offers sports fantasy drafts and pick'em games my personal favorite mode to play are the pick'em games because all i have to do is look at the stats of my favorite player and choose higher or lower and it's as simple as that and they offer every sport mlb nfl nhl fifa college football tennis wnba and more like i said earlier the pick'em games are as easy as choosing your favorite player, looking at their stats, then picking higher or lower. Will Giannis Antetokounmpo average higher or lower than 30.4 points per game this season? I personally think that Giannis is going to average lower than 30.4 points per game this season, so all I have to do is select lower. Then you have to find another player and do the same thing. Look at their stat and choose higher or lower, and it's as simple as that. Then you put your entry amount down and select the payout. Sign up using my code CLUTCH to get your first deposit matched up to $100. And if you do use my code and deposit money, your first deposit it must be at least ten dollars send a screenshot and dm me on twitter or instagram with proof and i'll follow everyone back and if you want to play along with me i post all my picks on instagram and twitter so if you guys really enjoy my 2k content make sure you sign up using my code clutch when signing up and don't forget underdog will match any deposit up to 100 dollars. builds cost a lot of money and i don't want y'all to be complaining in the comments saying you messed up the build because you skipped around the first thing we're going to upgrade is our close shot the close shot we're going to bring this up to a 52 once you brought your close shot to a 52 let's move on to our driving layup now for the driving layup, we're going to bring this all the way up to a 72, nothing higher or nothing lower. Now for our driving dunk, which is the most important part in our finishing category, we're bringing this all the way up to an 87 driving dunk. Now let me explain. An 87 driving dunk, I'm going to put it up on the screen right now. The requirements for minimum contact dunks is an 87 driving dunk with a 75 vertical. This year, you need two things to get yourself contact dunks, and that's obviously your driving dunk and then your vertical. I'm going to put it up on the screen for what you need for one what type of contact dunks you guys want. Now, you guys can copy this build exactly how I have it, or if you guys like it but want to tweak some things, feel free. You don't have to feel forced to do exactly what I do. I'm just putting y'all on to the best build, in my opinion. We are now done with the finishing category, and if we take a look over to the right, our badges. Now, if you guys don't know much about the badges, let me explain. As you guys see, we do not get posterizer right now, but if you guys look down a little bit, it says next upgrade bronze. We need to upgrade our driving dunk and our vertical, so we need to go down to our vertical and upgrade this to a 75 like i said just for the contact dunk requirement now that we have a 75 vertical if you look over to the right we now get posterizer on 
silver. So I want you guys to understand that you need to upgrade two things this year, sometimes three, to get yourself those better badges. So if we go back up to our finishing category, we now get silver posterizer, silver slithery finisher, silver precision dunker, aerial wizard on gold, bunny on gold, whistle on silver, spin cycle, and two step are both on hall of fame. Now if you guys don't know, this year all badges are ranked by tiers. You have your S tier, your A tier, your B tier, and your C tier. Let's move on to our shooting category. We're going to start off with our mid-range shot, and we're going to bring our mid-range shot to a 69, okay? I don't want you guys to judge yet because I'm going to explain everything. Y'all got to be patient with me. Like I said, I've been in this builder for the past three hours straight looking at every position, every height, every attribute. I've literally been studying this, and I mean that. This is literally my homework. Now, for the three-point shot, we're going to upgrade this to a 78, all right? Now, I don't want anybody to say anything yet. You guys haven't let me explain. And then for the free throw, we're only going to bring this up to a 61 because this personally is for park all right i'm not going to be playing my career or pro-am or rec with this build so you guys got to take into consideration if this is your build this build is specifically for park if you guys are going to be playing rec my career whatever you need to make free throws in game you got to take into consideration that i'm making this based around park twos if you guys choose the elite affiliation you'll be getting a jump shot boost to all of your jump shot attributes so your mid-range shot gets a boost and your three-point shot gets a boost just by going to the elite affiliation if you guys are not confident in your 78 or 69 mid-range shot i recommend you guys going to the elite affiliation but also mike wang literally confirmed that if you guys do not use your jump shot meter your green window is increased by 20 percent and we're not even talking about jump shot boost your teammates other badges that increases your shot so there's a whole bunch of things you have to take into consideration if you are somewhat of a skilled player you should be able to green easily with a 78 three-point shot by the time you add up all of your boosts your badges and your teammates badges you're probably sitting around a 75 mid-range shot which is plenty and how often are you really going to take middies all right i know i got a midi game myself but i'm confident enough with a 69 mid-range shot mike wang stated that attributes are almost everything this year in nba 2k24 think of a badge as like the icing on a cake it just helps just a little bit and golden hall of fame badges are so expensive already if you guys go any higher in your shooting you guys are just going to sacrifice your build in your other categories which i personally would not do you're really going to mess up your build we get agent three on bronze we get blinders on bronze we get dead eye on bronze and really quick i just want to say you guys might be thinking clutch these shooting badges are so mid i don't see anything above a silver shooting badge so if you get a lot more silver badges and bronze badges on your build in my opinion that's better than just a few hall of fame honestly in tier a we get catch and shoot on silver we get corner specialist on silver green machine on silver space creator on silver and then in our b tier we get claymore silver comeback kid silver guard up silver open look silver whistle silver now the reason why i went six foot six on my point guard build is this category right here is the playmaking category i'm gonna explain it in depth why the six six is so much better than the six seven and the six foot eight starting off with their pass accuracy we're gonna upgrade this to a 77 pass accuracy now i'm gonna put the passing styles up on the screen for the requirements with a 75 or higher pass accuracy you guys are gonna be able to unlock john moran's pass style which is honestly just fine you guys see we get dimer on silver we get needle threader we get relay passer on silver special delivery touch passer and i really think that john moran got good vision his passing style should be pretty nice now the ball handle of our six foot six point guard build gets a 92 ball handle that is what you're gonna go with you unlock the best dribble moves with the 92 ball handle on a six foot six point guard build and then we're gonna bring our speed with ball to an 83 now you guys might be thinking clutch your blow by is on bronze your speed boosters on bronze like i said these badges require more than one or sometimes two things upgraded so what we're gonna do next is upgrade our speed and acceleration now the speed of this build we're gonna bring this to an 80 and then our acceleration which is amazing we're gonna bring this all the way up to an 87 acceleration now if we take a look at the right the reason why the six foot six point guard build is so lethal is because we get blow by on gold and we get speed booster on gold no other tall point guard build gets this hell gets this acceleration plus these gold badges which means so much so if you're worried about making a tall point guard build that's slow you're not gonna have to think twice about making this build because this build is going to be extremely quick and while i'm at it i'm just gonna upgrade my stamina as well we're gonna bring our stamina all the way up to a 96 at the moment and as you guys can see that gives us gold handles for days so now in our playmaking category we get gold blow by gold handles for days killer combos on silver gold speed booster which is crucial another crucial badge is gold unpluckable you guys know how lockdowns are especially on the twos or threes 
They are insane. They are straight menaces to society. Nobody wants to mess around with the lockdown. So you guys get that gold unpluckable, which is going to be good. Ankle breaker on gold. You already know I'm about to be breaking ankles with my bill. So that's always fun. And then we get triple strike on gold, which is really good. Now we're going to start off with interior defense. We're going to upgrade this to a 60. Now a lot of people might be concerned with the six foot six defense, but in all honesty, I think you're going to be just fine. Now, I'm going to explain that once we upgrade every stat. Now, moving on to our perimeter defense, we're going to bring this all the way up to an 87 perimeter defense. Moving on to our steel, we're going to bring our steel all the way up to an 85. And then our block, we're going to bring this all the way up to a 70. And then our defensive rebound, we're actually going to drop this too. Now that we have touched everything in our defensive category, you guys might be thinking, Clutch, we don't even get clamps on this build. Relax. I'm telling you, a lot of things are tied into these badges. So we got to go all the way down to strength, and we're going to bring our strength all the way up to 50. Literally myself making this build, I realized I messed up. So make sure you guys go back, fix your close shot, bring that to a 52, and your driving layup to a 52 as well. We're going to bring our strength all the way up to a 50, and as you guys can see, we now get clamps on silver. Now if we take a look at our defensive category and the badges that we get, we get clamps on silver, 94 feet, which is a brand new badge that you're going to want, especially if you bring this build on the threes court, silver ankle braces, gold challenger, silver fast feet, silver pig dodger, gold workhorse, and gold off ball pick. And then if we take a look at our steel category, we get three of the most important defensive badges, in my opinion, when it comes to this type of build. You get Silver Glove, Silver Interceptor, and Silver Right Stick Ripper. Apparently, they said this is going to be the new best badge for getting steals, um, lane steals, just on-ball steals, using that right stick efficiently. And then for our block, it's not the greatest, but we still get Bronze Chase Down Artist. Now, like I said, the 6'6", six six, you either want more speed, better ball handling, or if you go any higher build, you're just sacrificing your speed, but you are getting better defense. And me personally on the twos, give me a faster build on the twos and I will literally torch you in any game we play. And if you want to try it, I'm literally live every single night on YouTube and on Twitch. Now, once you have 99 out of 99 potential overall, your build is now all the way upgraded. So the badges that we all get on this build, going over the finishing category, you get silver posterizer, silver slithery finisher, silver precision dunker, aerial wizard gold, bunny gold, whistle silver spin cycle on hall of fame and two-step on hall of fame now for the shooting badges get agent bronze blinders on bronze dead eye on bronze catch and shoot silver corner specialist silver green machine silver space creator silver spot finder silver claymore silver comeback kid silver guard up silver open look silver and whistle like i said we get so many shooting badges it's insane they're not all high badged here but like i said badges this year are more like the icing on the cake the thing that really matters is your attribute itself and then for our playmaking category this is just insane to me you get blow by gold handles for days gold killer combos on silver speed boost on gold you get unpluckable on gold ankle breaker on gold you best believe i'm breaking ankles and i will be doing it live on stream like i said i'm live on youtube and twitch every single night make sure you guys tune in links are in the description and triple strike is on gold and if our defense we get clamps on silver 94 feet silver ankle braces silver challenger gold fast feet silver pick dodger silver workhorse on gold off ball pest on gold and then for our steel we get that glove on silver interceptor on silver right stick ripper on silver and if our block we get that weak little chase down artist. I wish I could get this higher, and I honestly wish I could get anchor. That's just what happens when you go 6-6. Six, six. It's nothing else you can do, but like I said, I'd rather sacrifice myself getting better speed, better speed, better ball handle, better dribble moves than going with a taller build that's slower, and you just get better defense. I think I'll be better with the build that's faster, and that's me personally. Like I said, this is how I made my build. Now, let's see what build we have created. Let's see the shades of this build. Okay, the Bulls, Hornets, and the Pacers. Lonzo Ball, Baron Davis, and Tyrese Halliburton. Let's see what the build name is. I heard there's a lot of new build names. A two-way floor spacing slasher. Okay, hey. That's a fire name. Make sure you drop a like for more NBA 2K24 videos. And if you guys are new to the channel, click that subscribe button with notifications turned on so you never miss another video and live stream. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.